This is the domestic airport. I have a driver waiting, so I'm gonna go look for him. Oh, here he is. So this is the chaos out here. So the recommended best thing to do before you land is to arrange for a driver. You can make arrangement with the hotel or just use an app, but it's highly recommended to just cut down on the pastel and the craziness once you land. The hotel, this is the welcome tree. This is the hotel room. Bathroom. And toilet. <laughs> yeah, come on, go. This is my tour guide. Get it on the motorbike. Okay. So this is the market near Old Quarter. I'm gonna go in there and try to get something to eat because I'm hungry. A little bit hungry. During this season, a lot of people are gonna have photo shoots. So it's pretty interesting. So we're gonna try this ice cream here. This is lime ice cream. Very limey. It's very good. This is the famous boat building. So this is Turtle Tower, and this whole lake has a fairy tale behind it. How old is this church? Wow. So this is the oldest church in Hanoi. About a thousand years old, you would say? Hundred? A hundred years. <laughs> Not quite a thousand, just a few hundred years. I would do more research and put it down there. How is this? Very good. Banana pancake. So why is this place so special? Uh, like the people of Okay. Kind of like the capital? Yeah. This is the first university in Vietnam. Oh, okay. And now we use this as a historical museum. Mm -hmm. The lights are quite long here, isn't it? So if I take a train from here to Hue, I would go to this train station. Yeah. This is what they entertain themselves yeah. with. Really oh. nice, thank you. Okay. So this is the famous egg coffee. You can try. Try the egg first and then you stir it up. The train here comes about 10 times per day. And they have these coffee places kind of close to the train. So you're basically within two feet from the train. So when it comes, it's going to come, I guess, that way. So it gets pretty wild here. Look at all these people waiting for the train and the police over there, policing. So funny. Is that right there? The train is coming. All right, back up. <laughs> you didn't pay me, so don't die. Pay you first and then die. Oh, you can pay me first. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you like? Let's kind see. of the year? Uh, tiger for the next year? Uh, Let's do Hanoi beer. That was very close to death. <laughs> death within like 12 feet. No, not 12 feet. 12 inches of me. <laughs> so this is lane sharing to the extreme. Traffic. There's cow down here. And then it's also playing music. But I think it's from that building back there. From the speaker. Oh, they do have music here for you while you wait for two minutes. So this is the oldest bridge in Hanoi. 
Hi. Rustic. <laughs> I think it's rusty. So this right here is the biggest lake in Hanoi. And we're trying to catch the sunset. <laughs> This is the remnant of the B-52 plane. I'm not sure how I should feel seeing this as a Vietnamese American. Pride for the country that I left behind and sadness for all the lives that were lost. Some sort of satellite. So they shot the plane down, then they tried to find all the pieces and then they tried to put it together and put it on display at a park. This is so wild. <laughs> That's amazing. We are trying to cross this traffic right now. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> okay, we made it out. Oh, okay, not yet. Yep, we made it out alive. <laughs> that is too funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> It's amazing how the government building over here is really extravagant. So the weather is pretty unpredictable here. It's been 85 since I'm here and then now today I dropped down to around 50, 55. So <laughs> it's very difficult to pack during this time. We definitely taste the egg. Thì là họ uống bằng cái spoon này không? <laughs> so you really have to like egg to come here and try this because it's very eggy. So I definitely gonna need a thicker jacket for Hanyang, but this is really cold. It's gonna be cooler in Hanyang than Hanoi. I'm looking for a jacket here. I'm not getting this one because I just need a jacket. So make sure you pack accordingly because then you're going to spend a lot of time just looking around for proper gear. Okay, got my super expensive jacket for Vietnam. Now on to the next stop. I'm going to run in here very quickly <laughs> to show you this location. It's 50000 for the ticket to get in. I'm not going to go all the way in. It's very pretty. So the lake is right over there. I'm not going to go in because we don't have time. To the next stop. So there is a water puppet here too. Okay, now can show it? Huh? They show. They have a show every single day. I've never had this before, so we are going to try it. We sit in the street, so it's like a salad. So it's a papaya salad. The Vietnamese papaya salad. Tudu, huh? Tudu. Tudu, tudu. So this is Beer Street right here. At night, this is the most crowded street in Hanoi. So this is a pretty popular dessert. So inside is bean and coconut, and it's covered with flour. 
It's just in this ginger and peanut broth. So another way to get around the city is through a car, but it's very difficult when you're in the old quarter because it's super crowded. And let me show you how crowded it is. This is the mall that we're going to. I love this camera because I could just flip it back and forth. It's so easy. So if you have motorbike, you park, park there. If you have cars, you park there. Ah, oh, it's so cold. Even <laughs> and the jacket is cold. <laughs> okay. So welcome to Lottie. So this is the mall. How wild is this? <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't believe this is Vietnam. Places like this for people to take afternoon nap. for the pottery class is about five dollars per hour if you already know what you're doing if you need instruction then um it's gonna be 25 dollars for three hours so if you have time and you want to try pottery that's a really great place to try out so the escalator here is really cool it doesn't start until you get on it then it starts working if you see an escalator and it's not moving it's not that it's broken, you just have to get on it for it to start. <laughs> this store is an equivalent of Ikea here. It's all home furniture. Small, it's great for those that doesn't pack a lot or forgot to pack something. You can come here and buy whatever you need because all this store here will be the store like in the US. So you can find everything you need here. You have Zara, or is it Gap, and multiple other stores that you can find. We also have skin care, similar to a safari. Sephora, <laughs> not safari. <laughs> Sephora here. This would be $35 in the US and it is $890 here. Hanamuchi. I've been wanting to go to this store for a while now. And they have these really cool cases, pins and other things. You're gonna try this restaurant right here. This is a food court. This whole street is filled with street food. It's called bánh ép ép mì. Flat. Uh, yeah. So yeah, they make it with some topping. And that is the eel. So this is called eel soup. Mm. It's just a fish. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so when you order the iced coffee here with the condensed milk, they don't mix it for you ever. You have to mix it yourself. So just make sure you mix it before you drink it. very good. Where are you eating? <laughs> Why? Because you're not wearing socks? <laughs> <laughs> so this is about half a pound. I don't know. <laughs> this is I'm telling you it's half a pound. Green mango with the chili powder and vinegar. Very good. So they have police officer in the middle to help with traffic. I would not want to have that job.
So we are going to get a blind massage. This is the massage that's given by the blind to help them have a job in Vietnam and this group support them. And this place is in the middle of all this craziness here. A few moments later. That was really great. I mean, we better go back to the US and pay $100 to get a massage anymore. I'm just gonna save my hundreds and get a trip to Vietnam. For 90 minutes, it's 270000 So again, I highly recommend you giving this place a try. Um, it's, not, it's nothing fancy. You're not gonna get tea or anything like that but you be helping out people with disability and they do a really, really great job. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoy my time in Hanoi and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching. Until next time.